Welcome to Balloon Man's World. Back again. This is uh, part three of the Whistler excursion. Wow. It was quite an excursion. My little, uh, my little Whistler, we're going to call it. My little Whistler. <laughs> we took the My Little Pony, fresh frozen. Fresh frozen. It was good. I like beautiful, that. Beautiful quality. Um, I saw it quite a bit when John was dumping it all over the hotel entrance and at the elevator when he was dumping the cooler over that accidentally. Was just, it was just... <laughs> Bringing some nice flavors to the hotel room. Some nice flavors to the hotel room. So, anyway, what we are at now, with uh, where we're at now, is we've got a nice big piece of cardboard that's usually attached to my screen. So mostly the only thing that is on this cardboard is a little bit of dry sift, but I've managed to get most of it off. I've got the two micro microplaners here. John has the frozen material. He just pulled it out of a pelican case, which we have stuffed with frozen juices and ice packs. It's our little mini cooler. That way we don't have to uh, continue to bring the material in and out of the freezer. So, I've got my pen. We've already done the 190 micron here. And here is the 160. So we're gonna do the 160 now. It's really just... And then once we're done the 160, we'll write on it. Yeah, this 160, of course, is gonna be a little bit dirty. Um, oh, I would suggest getting some type of a rub rubber glove. Um, I'm, I usually sieve. When I see if I use a spoon, I don't touch the bubble whatsoever. Um, I'm going to have to, I've cleaned my fingers, made sure there's no skin particles, and uh, I'll be very careful when I grind down. Like I said, because John made a little bit of a mistake when we first uh, made this batch, he's, he went to clean the 220 bag. I tried in, to pull as much fiber out. Inside of the um, 160 bag. So it is a little bit, there's a little bit of, of leaf in it but it'll be very easily to distinguish once it's broken into a powder. All right, so. Nice and sticky. Yeah, but, and you know what? Still maintaining its coolness. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. I well, think uh, the freezing of the, uh, of the microplane helped as well. Keeping them nice and cold. There we go, we're gonna have a few little chunks which will be identified by the rolling up. Those will probably be... The chunks make great for um, actually throwing into your cookies. I love the cleaning of the microplane. It always seems like it's going to be impossible. And then you just give it one good whack, and it's clean! Yeah, let's see if we everything nice and clean here. Excellent, excellent. It makes it much easier. Alright, so that is the 160. Alright. Next. Next is this here, and this is the 120. Wow, this is a lot of it, dude. Yeah, it's really frozen, isn't it? Yeah. Frozen. Let's see the bottom of the screen for a second. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, just look at that. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Probably like break that right uh, uh, Thirds, at least. Here's yeah. a really good tip for you guys. You don't want to be using. Um, too large of a piece when you're microplaning. It, uh, it starts melting in your fingers, particularly of this quality. This is right. going to melt very fast. Right back I'm going to move over to the next planer here that I have. Look at the color. John. Oh, wow. Is that white? That is white for 120. That is amazing. It's not white for 120. It's white for snow. Oh. I, I don't, I'm, that's just so white. That's amazing. I'm, I'm super stoked. We need more carbon. Yeah, I think we will. Be really careful when we get down to these last pieces, kind of gently rubbing it over the, over the microplaner. Another piece right there for you. Excellent. It's always nice having someone to help you while you're doing this. Oh, so nice. So much easier. It's a huge, or just to, to, to do it all on your own, it's always nice to have a good buddy, especially. Oh yeah. Who grows killer resin. It's always nice to have a good buddy that makes killer bubble. Yeah. Yes, it's a, a, a symbiotic relationship. Yeah, it works quite nicely. We share, John. That, that, is, that, that looks like we just threw some white ice and sugar on the... I can't believe the color. I can't wait to see the 90. 
Yeah, this is the 120? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Excellent, excellent. That, that, I might break that one into two. Just to get, yeah. And this Pelican case here full of um, ice and some frozen packs is keeping this just perfect. And in the pizza box from that marvelous pizza we had in Whistler. And I'm trying to keep my fingers nice and clean so as to not let it build I'm up. It can be a very tricky thing uh, getting ooey gooey resin on your fingers. You can get yourself in a position where you make a very big mess in a very short period of time. So it's good to keep those fingers clean as you're as you're going. Like I said, if you wear the gloves, you can freeze the gloves and the resin just pops right off. You're going to manage, uh, you're going to keep any type of uh, particulate from your fingers out of here. So I would love to have gloves on right now. However, I do not have them. So in the world of bubbles, we do what we must do. We trot on. We continue. Give this a little whack to release what's in there. How many more 120 pieces do we have? One more after that. One more after this? Okay, so we'll go in a little deeper. I was going to maybe... Oh, sorry, too small. No problem. I mean, that's just coming apart so perfect, and it will be really nice to take some nice shots of that and show that the heads aren't all mangled or chopped up that uh, we were talking about. Actually, what you've mentioned and what we were Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely take a shot of this with the uh, macro lens of each variety. Oh, it's so small. And now the smell is just hitting me so much. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? And there's your next piece of 120. One more after that. Next piece of 120 coming through. I find that when you do it flat, you'll get a nicer plane. The more surface area of bubble that's touching the plane gives for a nice, um, almost not, not too thick, but just a nice, even spread. Yeah, comes out nice. I still prefer um, I can see a strainer. That is. I have to admit. A strainer is nice for me because I don't touch the product. I can just imagine how high you're going to be getting as you're doing this. It's pretty much, uh, it's all gets absorbed through your skin. So when touching really killer resin, understand that that is also going into your blood system. That's why he's happy right now. You'll see the smiles get bigger and bigger. Non-active though. Non-active. But I'm still going to smile, right? Okay, so. Okay, so we've got our 120. Uh -huh. Alright, that 120 is basically uh, the majority. Well, next. Okay, we're going to get another piece of cardboard because we're getting some bigger pieces out here, so I will be right back. I think we're going to do the 73 because there's just not enough room for the 120. Okay, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to place the 73 here. I'll run it through my little guy, my nice macro plane. Coming out beautiful color. Keep everything cold as you're planing if you can. Keep the bubble cold, keep the planer cold, keep your fingers cold. Anything you can keep cold is going to be helpful. If you can do it in a cold environment, that's not going to hurt. He just had his hands in the freezer, so... I literally did. I washed them from the That's last... That's going apart really nicely right there. Just crumbling. Yeah, it is, really. Too bad it's staying on my fingers, but... <laughs> not that much this time. Not much, not much. We'll give it a little... Yeah, it's because there's moisture present. I can feel it. It's making it easier. That moisture definitely makes it easier. Alright, so we've got our 73. We're going to mark that down. You know, you think you can remember? Just write it down. 73, 120, 160, and 190. We're going to replace this cardboard with a clean one. Put this one up in our stack so it's out of the way and protected. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back in a second.
Okay, so we've got our nice fresh piece of cardboard. There's a couple of rips in it that I don't really like because it's actually exposing fibers. We're going to avoid that. And uh, yeah. Okay, we go. Next up Here's we some go. I thought we did all the 120s. No, so we're in the 90. Okay, we got to keep that straight. We're in the 90. He's he's playing games with me, tricking me. Come well, on, just keeping me on. Keeping me on my toes. Keeping me on your toes. All right. So, so this is uh, one of the favorites in the car. Oh, that's just crumbling. But it's making for easy crumbling. So whoever says it has to be completely frozen, I after doing that must disagree with you. We have quite a bit more 90 here. Oh yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, this is real nice the way it's crumbling up. I right, see. The more, yeah, the more you experiment, that. the more you realize what's. Everything can change with your environment and the humidity and the temperature. And... Way less sticking to my fingers this time because it isn't frozen. I don't have to push as hard, as hard on it. And you got another uh, piece after that. Yeah, just washing it, it's just coming apart perfectly. Yeah, nice and gentle. And our last nice thick piece of 90. Excellent. Save the best for last. Woohoo! Look at that. Not too shabby, hey? Yeah, I'm very happy with that for sure. The smell is just awesome. Alright, so the 90 is planed. off your fingers you'll end up usually seeing these pieces in the end they'll have a little bit of a different texture to them and they, they really are just gonna have a tiny bit of moisture trapped in them so I usually just puff those early on no, here's the 45 all right we're going into 45 now are we right into 45 so we'll go 45 45! What do we have left after that? Just 20? Yeah. Five. Getting right down to the last. I see by the looks of everything here, it's uh, upwards of over, over 10 talent rounds at least, how's that? Yeah, you know, it's, I'm sure we'll get our 10% return at least. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're, we're definitely getting that 10% return. Oh, we got a piece out. Fiber there, get that off. 45 has that very strong terpenation, terpene smell. You just, I can always know when it's the 45. Yeah? Truly, yeah. It's also the first bubble that is usually the one to light a flame when you're smoking it. Not that I've been smoking much lately since I got the D nail. One more piece of 45? Oh, my God, what's 45? Pass it, pass them up. Shaving them down. One little trichome head at home. Yes, one little trichome head at a time. Sometimes 50,000 heads. There's 50,000 right there. I raise you 50,000 heads. To, uh, there's an extra uh, 5,000 there. Yeah, the moisture content's good in this. It's got enough moisture that it's not um, really sticking to my fingers. Uh, the, the moisture allows for it to... A little bit of water makes for good planing. And it's easy to go through and pick up the tiny little chunks that are too big and just run them gently through the microplaner. I've got a two-size planer here. So the one size, the smaller size, is pretty easy to... Uh, to touch directly. It's got smaller little blades, I guess you would say, and because of that it's not uh, it's gentle on my fingers. I'm not peeling my fingers off on it. And last but not least is just one big chunk of 25. 25. 
You know, truly the one that you can honestly get away with, sometimes drawing in a patty, um, we're just going to microplane it up. Crumbles right up perfectly. Never have a problem drawing the 25 micron. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that the heads are so much smaller. Um, less water actually fits between the heads, on the outside of the heads. If you, if you think of it like a bowl of grapes, um, the larger the grapes, the more surface area between those grapes. Uh, the smaller they are, the less space between them, more can fit in a bowl. There's less room for moisture, and I think that's why the 25 micron has never really been a problem drying it, even in a patty. And it's definitely the one that can confuse people when you tell them you can't dry bubble in a patty. They might have done it with the 25 micron and, and, and think, yes, you can. So there's a quick little uh, microplaning job. I'll tell you, uh, having somewhere safe to put this away from dust and debris, pet hair, kids, whatever, is very important. We've got it in the gorilla tent here on top of the 4 by 2 foot screens. We've got them stacked. They're going to be safe and beautiful and put away and not even dust is going to fall on it. You really want to make sure you can kind of create something like that before you get yourself into this situation of having the bubble all powdered out on the, on the cardboard or parchment paper. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to put this over there. John and I are going to hit some bowls, so we'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you. 